Hello everyone, I'm Xin. I'm very happy to be here to show you a new feature of Merlik 5.6, image source parameterization. In this video, we will show you the several parts. In the first part, we will show you how to connect the camera with Merlik and capture a live image. And maybe we can also achieve a simple application. In the second part, we will show you how to set the image source parameters for your application. Assume you have two applications with this setup. For the first application, you set a suitable exposure time to capture a good image. But for your second application with the setup, the previous exposure time is too high, which means your object might be overexposed. In this case, you need a second exposure time, a low exposure time. So the question is how to set up everything simply? We will answer you this question in the second part. In the third part, we prepared two applications with two image source parameters, and we will show you how to integrate everything in the Merlik runtime mode. Now let's share my screen and see what happens. Here I have already started Merlik, and let's connect the camera and Merlik. We can open image source configuration by clicking here or clicking here. Now you see an empty configuration and we can add a new configuration, give it a name, for example, Merlik Webinar 5.6, create configuration, activate it, and we can also activate the slide bar. Then this configuration is automatically activated when Merlik RT is started. So now let's add this image source to Merlik by clicking new image source here. Give it a name, image, and find the device, create image source, start live image, and now we have connected a camera with Merlik, and we can get live images. It's quite simple, isn't it? So now let's do a simple application to read the barcode. If we put it here, and let's check if the current exposure time is good enough for visualize this barcode. I think that's okay. Let's save the parameter set, and we can also save it as a parameter, and later we can add it into the recipe. Image source param. Safe. And here you can see the active sequence is read barcode image source param. And default sequence is base sequence. And we can also click here to set this sequence as a default sequence. Now let's run it once and we can capture an image of the barcode. And now let's find a tool, read barcode, and put it in a tool flow. The barcode is not read. What happens? I think the reason is the bar of the barcode should be black, but in this image it's white. So we need another tool to invert the gray values. Invert gray values. And let's make it cleaner. Disconnect this tool. So now you can see the code can be read. And here is the decoded data. And we can also save 
the MVF parameters and results in the recipe. For example, we need this parameter, add to MVF parameters. The data type should be, let's say, real. And the coded data is also very interesting for me. Add to MVF results. Word. And here, we can save the recipe. At first, let's save the MV app. And live example. And the recipe file. And if you see here, if you can remember the previous Marduk version, you cannot select the acquisition sequence. But in this version, 5.6, you can select the acquisition sequence read barcode image source parameter to se select this exporter time. And now the runtime mode is set up. In the second part, we will focus on the image source parameters and you will have a clear observation what happens for different image parameters. So if you see here, we the current active sequence is read barcode image source parameter. And we can also set other different exposure times. For example, we make an overexposure. Let's put an object here. And save as bright. And now, and if we set it bright, this file will be saved separately. And we put an exporter time lower. We click here, save as dark. And this parameter set will also be saved separately. So we have now three parameter sets, bright, dark, read barcode, and resource parameters. And now let's go to the selected sequences again, and we can see the active sequence is dark. So if we start it once, you see the exposure time is very low. And if we select bright, run it once, the exposure time is high and we get an overexposed image. In this part, we will show you two applications. The first one is the read barcode from this triangle. And the second one is to read text and numbers of this sheet mantle. Due to the reflection of this material, it requires low exposure time to capture a suitable image. And to show you the two applications, we prepared something for you. We create an MV app read barcode and MV app read text and numbers. And for each MV app, we create the corresponding recipe files. So let's open Merlick again. So the first step, let's start Merlick RTE. And we can see a front end. In the communication, we prepared a REST plugin. If you remember REST plugin from the previous Merlick webinar, it provides a build web building interface to visualize the Merlick state machine. And with the Merlick state machine, you can control Merlick with different applications that you build up. To use this plugin, you only need to copy the IP address and port number into a web browser. So now you can see the state machine. 
and let's put the front end here. If we click ready, we can see the two recipes that we prepared. And the first recipe, read barcode. Start single execution. So now you can see the barcode is read. Here is the decoded information. And if I click continuous execution, and you can see here is a live image. And if we put this sheet matter here, and it's overexposed with the current exposure time. Therefore, we prepared another recipe with another exposure time. Now, the second application is loaded, and let's adjust the window size and start single execution. So now we can see the sheet mantle and the text and numbers are read, and here are the results. So this is the second application, and in this video, we showed you a new feature of Merlik 5.6, image source parameters, and now we can set the image source parameters into the recipe, and we can set it very simply in a GUI. Thank you very much.